One of the most controversial issues in New York State hits its five-year anniversary. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jennifer Sheehan. And I'm Ben Wilcox. Thanks for choosing WENY HD News at 11. The statewide moratorium on permits for deep shale hydraulic fracturing on the Marcellus Shale began five years ago today. Some are angry about how long the hold has been for others. They want to see it extended. WNYHG's Kelly Meyer headed out to the southern tier to see how it affects people there. Kelly, who did you talk with? Jennifer, I spoke with a farmer as well as the owner of a local winery. Both have strong beliefs on the moratorium. To frack or not to frack? That's the question New York State has been asking itself for the past five years. The issue has its pros and cons, but who are the people that could directly impact from it? One industry that could see an economic boom is the farming industry. What's it mean to other people that don't have land, don't have gas? It means more money into the economy. If the moratorium is lifted, Asher's farm could be one of the places they would drill on, and he says he's okay with that. The length of time it's been now is a little bit ridiculous. One industry that could suffer is the tourism industry. Right here, we're on Seneca Lake, one of the largest bodies of fresh water in the world. Fresh water is going to be, it is, the, uh, the biggest natural resource we have, and we have to be careful with it. Michael Rechtenwald is visiting from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where fracking is allowed, but he doesn't want to see it come to New York State. And at least to just to do your research and find out what kind of accidents have happened uh, and, again, the repercussions that could happen with the waterways being infected. Uh, I, again, there's a lot of risk. The Department of Environmental Conservation has to do an in-depth environmental review before any final fracking decision is made. The review still remains incomplete. Kelly Meyer, WENY HD News.